You've been in print. Mm -hmm. You're now in web. Mm -hmm. What are the differences? Where do you think it's all going? Well, um, you know, for me, uh, it's definitely the web in terms of if you want to be uh, a self-creator. You know, uh, the uh, and primarily because you only have to put up one website, but you can attract as many readers as you can attract, you know, as many people who enjoy what you do. So you know, that may be 10, it could be 100,000. But if you are in a printed vehicle, in order to reach 100,000 people, you have to make 100,000 of those. So the expense of that is, is significant. And so I see it uh, going more and more towards the web. Uh, for me, I like the web better as I stated earlier, because I like the interaction with uh, the fans on it. And, um, you know, I can't, the downside of the web is it, if it fails, you can't blame the salesman for the syndicate. You know, if it isn't working or people aren't enjoying what you're doing, you've got nobody to hold accountable for yourself. So uh, you have, you know, you have to look at the results. The results are you. Now for you, you've been in a unique situation because you've always relied on yourself. Yeah. You were self-syndicated. You didn't go with a national, you didn't have a national syndication. Well, it wasn't because I didn't oh. propose. She just didn't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> so you self-syndicated. You have gone on the web. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of self-motivation for you. If it's just somebody sitting at home and they're watching this via YouTube or another vehicle, is there any advice that you can give them on getting their career started via the web as the latest and greatest for the medium? Well, you know, uh, really, you just have to get started. I mean, most people will strive to do something that they assume is perfect, and, it, and it's never like that. Uh, you always, the latest thing that you're working on, you always think it's the best idea you ever had. And then a week later, you think it's the worst thing you ever did. So you're better off to just run with what you've got. And your audience will grow with you. And they'll, if it's been my experience, they'll forgive your, your mistakes. The one thing that I would really emphasize is don't forget to enjoy yourself. You know, you, uh, for me, drawing, is, sitting here and drawing this cartoon is the real pleasure in it. And uh, so I, I, I don't ever take my eye off the ball with that because that was the failing I had the first time around. I had an expectation that was out of line with what I was able to achieve with what I was doing. And I, the joy of it got drained out of it for me. So I, I always would stress, enjoy yourself. You know, really remember that, uh, you know, it's really about drawing and, and your enjoyment of that. Do you, have, do you see any other challenges with, for web cartoonists? other than not being able to blame a syndicate or a newspaper for their salespeople? Well, uh, you know, standing out from the pack is tough. Uh, there's probably 10,000 web cartoonists out there. So uh, being able to stand out from that is, is the tough part. And really, uh, you know, I, I'm a believer that the cream rises to the top. You know, if you're talented, that will eventually get noticed. So uh, it's really persistence. The guys that are successful, the, the, the men and the women that are successful, because it's one of the things that's cool about web cartoonists is a lot of the successful ones are women, you know, that uh, wouldn't, had, and women have had a very small voice in the world of syndication. But in web cartoonists, they're some of the most admired people and they write some of the most intriguing um, cartoons. And, um, so it really is persistence, though. None of those people stuck something on the web, and three months later, they were famous. Right. You know, uh, So the, all of the people that you're hearing about today that have a reputation as a web cartoonist that are successful, they've all been doing this for 10 years. You know, And they started out doing, as, doing cartoons because they loved to draw a cartoon. And they'd send it to a friend of theirs, and their friend would say, oh, this is funny, and they'd send another one. And then, you know, but they love drawing a cartoon. And they've been around for 10 years. It's persistence. Uh, Steve Jobs. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Well, Steve Jobs once said, you know, the, the one quality that I see between entrepreneurs who are successful and the ones who aren't is persistence. You know, it, it, stick with it. 
what direction are you taking now? You, you have your web cartoon. Are you going to print? What are some of the things that you're working on and foresee for yourself? Uh, well, I just finished a book, which I worked on with a friend of mine. That was a really rewarding experience. A friend of mine designed it named William Letcher. William was my first client when I was a freelance illustrator. And he saw a collection of my cartoons back in February and said, you know, let me design the book because I didn't know how to design a book. And I was kind of stuck. I knew I had enough material to do one, but I was stuck on how to get going. And so I gave him a collection of cartoons and my wife and I went on vacation. And when I called him, when I got back and he had just nailed the whole thing that I was looking for, you know, the way that I, he just got it, you know, the, the entire atmosphere and the flavor of the cartoon. Of course, it went through a series of revisions after that, but working with William was a lot of fun. I've done a couple of comic cons and I'm leaning more towards book festivals because my observation at the comic cons is, is that uh, my material appeals to an older audience. I don't do superheroes and, or anything like that. I don't do long story arcs or comic books. And the people that are really acclimated towards the type of cartoon that I do tend to be people that are in their uh, 40s and 50s. And I think that there's more of that audience that participates in book festivals than, than I'm meeting at comic cons. Well, is there any last words you'd like to share with your audience on this series? <laughs> yeah, buy my book. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, I don't really uh, see in the funny papers. You know? 